lot of people said. So this week, he said that he's going in, no holds barred. He is one of the most prolific word playing poets that I've heard in a very long time. And he's coming back to stage. Y'all put your hands together for the fourth, y'all. Hey. They got to do all the handshake and shit before they get to the stage. Escapism and elevation 
Understanding that their situation that they're glancing upon, noticing unspeakable issues, and not being able to comprehend or fully explain their pains. So they place their written dreams as signals to help or rescue me hieroglyphics on the delicate wing tips of a loose leaf paper airplane. They want to feel that jet fuel roaring, the side of boom, breaking the sound barrier, unknowingly preparing themselves for breaking down barriers of rejection, levitating over that racial spectrum at unbelievable speeds, streaming across the crisp blue sky, lacing monochrome clouds like metallic needles. These manufactured machines steam white smoke with silver fog linings of hope and progress. Yes, the imagination of a child should be weightless, infinite, somewhat limitless, such as the wingspan on a jet plane, not limited to demographic, socioeconomic status, or stratus fragments of possibility or grounded promises. So remember that pigeon that started mankind's journey into the science of flight. Let your children send a message to the world that it's all right to pretend that airplanes in night skies are like shooting stars that can carry their wishes and dreams. And all they ask of you is to give them a magic one way to succeed. So please, help them make airplanes. <laughs>